Hello and welcome back to Cooking for Two 101. I'm Christy, that's John behind the camera. Today we're making spaghetti carbonara with shrimp. Cause who doesn't like bacon and shrimp together? I can't think of anybody. We're gonna start by sauteing our shrimp. We're gonna do a, just a, a splash of, this is grapeseed oil. You could use olive oil or avocado oil or whatever oil you have. I wouldn't say peanut oil or some bizarre thing like that. Next we're gonna add uh, two tablespoons of butter. The oil is for the heat, the butter is for the flavor. I'm gonna sear that down a little bit. And I have here about a pound of shrimp. I have taken the skins, uh, shells and tails off. I have deveined it, it's all good to go. I showed you how to do that in a video earlier. Uh, ooh, it's getting hot. Uh, before we add them though, I'm gonna add this. This is three small garlic cloves that I've crushed. We want it to flavor the butter before we put the shrimp in. And you don't want this part to be too hot because you don't want the butter to burn. Why? It gets bitter and that's no good. After we cook the shrimp, what we're gonna do is take it out of the pan and we're going to build the carbonara sauce. Uh, that takes a half a pound of bacon, which I've already rendered in the background there and you'll see that in a little bit. Uh, and um, Actually, not very many other ingredients. Pasta water, an egg or two, and some Parmesan. It's gonna be amazing. Okay, as soon as you start to smell the garlic, which I can now, you add the shrimp. Put them all in there, yum. And let them cook. These are big, so they take a couple minutes, maybe a minute and a half on each side, something like that. But you can tell when they're done because they stop being opaque and they start being that beautiful shrimp pink. When that's done, we'll be back. Okay, so while the shrimp is cooking, I'm gonna put the pasta in the boiling water. Uh, there's a little bit of salt in there. You don't need any oil necessarily, but I wanna tell you one thing. Do you know what this hole is for? This is one serving of pasta. Like who's gonna shove that in there and figure that out? So just make some pasta. Just put it in the boiling water, sprinkle it about a bit. Boom and cook your pasta according to package directions. It's about eight minutes. I've already rendered the bacon. I'm letting it cool a little bit. And I have removed about a half, maybe three quarters of the bacon fat. So as soon as the shrimp is done, we'll be ready to put all of this deliciousness together. We'll be right back. Our shrimp looks amazing. Oh my goodness. So I'm gonna give them a little bit of salt and some fresh cracked black pepper. A little sprinkle of um, parsley and a squeeze of lemon. And that's it, these beauties are done. Okay, the shrimp is ready, the pasta is ready, the bacon's almost ready. What we're gonna do next is add just two or three small crushed garlic cloves and we just want them to flavor the um, bacon and the bacon grease, which is basically the sauce for this pasta, but it turns out so creamy, it's amazing. But um, let's not get ahead of ourselves. First, what we're gonna do is take one egg and one egg yolk. So get rid of one of those uh, egg yolks, I mean egg whites, so one egg, one egg yolk. We're gonna mix it in a bowl along with a half a cup of uh, shredded Parmesan. When this, uh, gets combined with the pasta water and the bacon fat that's in the pan, it creates this luxurious sauce that you would think has piles and piles of cream in it, but it doesn't, it's just amazing. Alrighty, yay. So we don't wanna add this now because it would turn into scrambled eggs and that's not what we want. What we do wanna do though is add the pasta and some pasta water to this. So I can smell the garlic, yum. And I'm gonna move this pan of hot pasta over here. And we're gonna start adding it to this pan of bacon. So I'm gonna turn the heat off. You don't have to take it off the burner. You want it to stay kind of warm. We're just gonna start adding it. And the goal here is to get the pasta and the pasta water into the sauce. But since I'm going uphill, that might be a little challenging, but I'm gonna give it a shot. All 
All right, let's stir that around. What your, your goal right now is to cool the pan down so that you don't hear any sizzling. The sizzling means the pan is too hot and it's gonna scramble the egg sauce that we're putting in. We don't want that. Oh, there's some more in here. And you wanna keep this pasta water handy because if the sauce is too thick, this is what you're gonna use to thin it out. I don't need that anymore. Okay, oh, here we go. So my, my stove is off. There's no extra heat, just what's in the pan. There we go, yeah. <laughs> Even big dog's excited. Next we're going to give this another little mix and we're gonna start adding it to this pasta and bacon. Just like that, the cheese will start to melt, keep the eggs from a scrambling, which would be no bueno, that's not the right tool, this one is. And just start turning and flipping your noodles and the bacon and the garlic into that egg mixture. This is very thick, so now I'm gonna add some of this pasta water, a couple ladles just to get started, see where we go. And this is it. You just keep doing this until the sauce becomes creamy, which it will, trust me, it will, it's amazing. There we go. Don't forget to use Teflon uh, tongs in your non-skid stick skillet because we got a lot of stirring to do. All right, this is gonna take probably two, three minutes. Um, as soon as this evaporates, we're gonna add a little bit more water because we want this to be nice and creamy. We'll be back. Okay, the sauce is nice and creamy and oh my goodness, that looks so good. All we have to do now is add a pretty healthy amount of pepper because that's what makes this pasta so amazing. Little pinch of salt. Bacon's pretty salty, you don't need a lot. I am gonna add some parsley. That's kind of not very traditional, but I like the color, it's really pretty. I'm also going to add all the shrimp that we made along with all of these yummy juices that they have let off. And that's um, garlic and butter, a little bit of um, olive oil. We're gonna toss this about a bit, yeah. That looks so good, I'm so excited. Okay, next we're gonna plate up. We're going to serve this with a little bit of toasted uh, bread. I have focaccia bread. Put a little, bit of, a little bit of butter and some Johnny's on it, because that's what we like. Uh, you could do a side salad would be yummy. Probably a little healthier than a big old piece of bread, but who doesn't like bread? Yum. All right, and then finally on top, I'm gonna to just add a little bit of extra Parmesan and a bit of lemon. There's a lot of fat in this um, bacon dressing. Uh, so I, I do like the lemon. It cuts down on that, whatever, thick, rich sauce. Um, but if you don't want to, don't, don't add it. But here it is, spaghetti carbonara with shrimp. Enjoy, I can't wait to try it. We'll be right back. It's a little hot. I'm going to wait for five minutes or maybe two. Okay, I'm going to squeeze a little uh, lemon on my shrimp because I love how that tastes. Yum. And I'm going to have one of those first because they smell amazing. And look how delicious they look. Yum. Mmm. That's so good. All right. Now for, for some spaghetti carbonara. I mean spaghetti carbonara. <laughs> I should have cut these in half. There we go. Mm. It's just amazing to me that there is no cream or milk in this dish. It's absolutely amazing. Yum. Okay, thank you for watching Cooking for Two 101. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with your friends because this meal needs to be shared with your friends. Trust me, they will thank you. See you soon.